Okay, so today I have a um, still life set up, uh, very monochromatic still life. Um, I try to keep things kind of simple with regards to the tonality, so I've got a dark book. I've got a beaker here and just a white background. And uh, I'm gonna be drawing this with uh, vine charcoal and uh, charcoal white. This is a, both of these you can buy in any art store. And then I use uh, a pink eraser for, um, for also to help me draw and, and shape my edges and then erase things if I kind of make a stray mark. Getting the direction of the book. Scale. I'm just starting with a simple line drawing. I'm not gonna draw too much. I'm gonna just indicate where things are because I have to find where everything is first. And try not to screw it up. I like to blend with my finger. Some people use a, uh, a blending tool, but your finger works pretty well. I'm just gonna start to fill in where I see, and I've tried to position the camera so that you guys see what I'm seeing so, so it looks very similar, so you can see my, my process. One of the things that a lot of, a lot of people miss uh, when they're drawing is, is they don't uh, get the shadows here. These shadows, uh, and there are shadows here, you get them early on uh, if you can um, because it will help shadows place the object. But we're not drawing the object again, we're drawing the, the effects of light and shadow. Uh, that, that's going to make you look at an object, and not as an object, but as a series of shapes. There's a funny shape that goes here. All right. And uh, it's okay to erase, by the way. Um, I have students ask me sometimes, you know, can I erase? Of course you can erase. You can correct, you can overcorrect. You can come in and, I mean, you can do that right there and it softens everything up. And now um, I can come back in where I see fit and I can erase, erase, I see a light spot there, going dan kind of dancing around and seeing where I can take things out. It, the lightest part, and I want to go ahead and get this in, but um, I see a, a, a like a, re a reflection here, right about there. So, and it goes, it's not perfect, but it kind of goes down a little bit. There's a series of reflections there, but I'm going to capture only the major ones. And there's one right about there and there. Um, this is going to be kind of messy, a little bit sloppy. I, I'm kind of rushing, but um, you should rush through. You shouldn't be so careful all the time. All I'm doing right now is I'm looking at my areas. So there's a shape down here that's white. There's this weird little kind of shape here. Again, not trying to um, spend too much time. I'm really just 
trying to lay it in there because that's kind of what you do when you paint anyway and I draw like I paint um, mainly because I'm a painter but um, I tend to draw like I paint so I draw relatively quickly and then I fix it all later Let's see there is that that uh, drawing is observing though that's it's a um, process of looking and seeing white and then interpreting uh, and you have to have a pretty you have to develop a, a sense of um, uh, conceptualization the ability to to conceptualize things and shadows light those are things too you have to treat everything negative space is a thing it's all equal I'm not drawing an object so much as I'm drawing shapes in and around that object this is kind of in shadow back here there's a bit of a um, and then there's shadow here believe it or not this is kind of dark down here if you look it's not it's it's darker here than there and you got to pick up on those little subtle things and so um, I'm holding my pencil here out the end just kind of do some shading I'm not being real real careful I'm just trying to lay it in there and uh, record everything that I see as I see it and this is a pretty strong line that ends right there a little indication there I've got that that's actually a very faint line there. And then that's the background. And there's a line like that comes down like that. Um, and it's actually, there's folds back there. I'm not concerned with that right now. This isn't really um, meant to be a, uh, a work of art so much as a study but it takes a, a lot of practice to draw because we we're not taught how to draw in school uh, it's almost discouraged I know that when I was going through school um, I got in a lot of trouble because I was spending more time drawing than uh, studying okay so just quickly laying values in there. You can always readjust later. Um, and you don't have to get every single little light right in the beginning. You want to really just get a real basic kind of real quick and dirty. Uh, you want to get your uh, your values laid in there as quickly as possible. Uh, you can always fix it later. I like the softness of this because you can just about erase it with your finger and that's one thing I really like about it is um, because I can get these wonderful like here if I want to get this shadow and by the way shadows are real strong if you notice um, where this book makes contact the shadow is the strongest right in there and it tends to diffuse outward but if if you look at it it's got this sort of triangular shape that's real soft and uh, so that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at shapes. Um, real, real basic shapes. And I'm going to show you a few little things here. So this, this light is real diffuse. It's stronger here. So that's why I kind of drew a strong line. And then it sort of diffuses out. But I'm just going to take my finger and just sort of push that... that um, stuff around I'm putting kind of it's kind of mixing in the white with the uh, vine charcoal I've got a strong line here and I've got a very thin strong line here and I've got a nice shadow darker shadow on this darker object if you look that 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 book is not actually black it appears gray uh, because it's lights hitting it and reflecting off of it and actually you get some of these little highlights here on the book itself 
uh, which you can use your eraser and capture those as well. But I sort of take a clumsy approach to drawing in that I don't worry too much about the details or capturing it photographically. This is more or less a study of shadow and light and reflection. Um, this is just a real quick start. Uh, from here, I'll soften it up and that'll be kind of like the preliminary drawing if I were doing a still life painting or something like that. That would be a preliminary study. But I just wanted to show that, you know, I'm not drawing the whole glass. It's not even connected here. These lines aren't even connected. But I can go through now and I can really start to spend my time on each area. Uh, and I can observe every little detail. Now I've got my I've got my, uh, mo the majority of my, my drawing done, and so I can come in here and really start to do my comparisons, looking at light versus dark, the, the, uh, the value of the light, and that's really what I'm looking at. So, uh, and everything is... Um, so if something appears light, it's because it's surrounded by dark or it's adjacent to something that's dark. So I don't, I'm not going to color in all of that. I just want to know, you know, where this, I want to know the contrast of that area right there. And within this little area right there's so much detail, but I, I don't really, I'm not interested in capturing all that right away. I'm more interested in capturing the whole thing first and then working around it. And uh, I'm noticing, you know, some little errors. This glass doesn't appear perfectly straight. But wherever you feel like uh, it isn't right, you can always erase. You can erase the, the white and you can erase the dark. The vine charcoal erases very easily, very readily. Uh, so there's actually a pretty sharp line back here. And then it fades in. So that's what I'm trying to do is catch these little these little tidbits of information that that make it work or not work in some cases. Um, and if you can you look and then draw. So like I, I'm what I'm looking at right now is this, the curve right here, and I'm not looking to draw the the glass i'm actually kind of looking at those two shapes coming together and seeing because i have a dark thing in my hand that i'm drawing with so i'm actually recording i shouldn't say recording but i'm putting in this value here and i know that's darker than what i see but once i fade it in it'll be about the right value and who cares if it's not perfectly curved Again, these, these studies are mostly for your own benefit. If they end up being a really good drawing when you're done with them, great. If not, you just leave them in your sketchbook and you refer back to them and you, you can look back at your, your mistakes. But it's good to draw every single day. It's really, really good for you, uh, for your development as an artist. Uh, don't try to go into painting. If you haven't started painting, don't just go straight into painting. Maybe... Um, take a drawing class or you know maybe watch some videos on how other people draw and get some some tips and tricks from them because learning how to draw is fundamental uh, to your development as an artist and I don't care what kind of artist you are anyway okay, that that is basically the start uh, to the drawing it, it's real messy right now but I'm gonna continue working on it throughout the video. I'm, not, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna speed up this drawing so you just see me finish it. Uh, and then once it's done, the video will end. And that'll be that.
kind of hard to see um, the light because it doesn't appear very bright and I probably should have uh, spent more time uh, with it but uh, it's okay for what it is um, I'll probably just spray some spray fix on it it's a little bit crooked here you know the glass isn't perfectly straight um, but for a quick sketch um, just to capture maybe the mood and the values and the direction of the light I think it turned out pretty well so uh, kind of has to be looked looked at uh, almost separately. Um, I'll do another video where I'm a little bit more careful and go a little bit slower and maybe speed the video up so you can kind of see uh, a really good drawing that I spend a lot of time on. Um, and I'll probably use pencil as opposed to um, using the, the vine charcoal. I love vine charcoal because it spreads so nice and it's kind of messy. But uh, as you can see, my hands after drawing. So it's... Um, <laughs> Maybe that makes it better. Anyway, uh, so I'll do some more videos on on um, on how I uh, my drawing process, and hopefully uh, my drawing process is something you guys can use. Um, but you saw me just wipe my hand across there. It's it's because I really I'm not really uh, worried about it too much. It's just a practice drawing, so don't get all uh, worked up about you know if you're drawing and you mess up. Just move on to the next drawing. Keep going. Keep practicing. And I'll see you next time.